Hey, greetings to you, people, good people. Good, 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 good. Bit of tongues there for you. And um, the Book of Job, right? I've always been told that in the Book of Job, it was a real man called Job, or Job, and known to his friends as Jobby. And he actually, these things happened to him. He actually lost his wife and his family and everything. He actually was covered in boils and all this sort of stuff. And he actually had these friends. And, go, and actually, if you believe that this is an actual story that actually happened, it actually shows some very dark things about God and some very powerful things about Satan. And I think that's the general gist of a lot of modern Christianity. Satan is powerful, God is awful, but he's love. Anyway, it's a parable. It didn't really happen. God isn't really going to hold court like he's a human king and have someone like Satan come in and say, well, let's pick him off. Let's see how faithful he is. Let's do bad things to him. And when it doesn't work, well, let's really open the floodgates. Okay, I'll show you how faithful my, my follower is. You can do whatever you like with him. No, God isn't like that. If it's not like Jesus, it isn't God. This is amazing. This is the earliest book, probably the earliest book that was written in the Bible, which makes it one of the earliest books ever. And have you noticed that the story is really quite convenient? Okay. Satan goes into the court. He gets permission from God to torture his loyal subject to the point of death and killing all these other innocent people. And then a friend comes along, advises him, and then there's another speech where Job speaks back. And then there's another speech from another friend, and another speech from Job. It's, it's all too, that's, that's never happened, right? This is an incredible book that was written thousands of years ago. And actually the stuff we can glean from that book today are as true now as they were when they were written. Isn't that phenomenal? We haven't changed. And what we can glean from the book, what we can learn from it, why it is scripture that's God-breathed and useful for doctrine and training in righteousness and all that stuff, is that actually it shows the human heart, it shows and exposes the stupid, crass answers religious people give, and psychologists and other people actually, just humans. Let's not bash religious people on their own here, although we've become very good at it. but. Well, if you notice, all the answers, people say stuff like that to us all the time. Eventually, another guy comes along who's not one of his comforters, uh, and he talks some common sense, and Job's like, well, hey. And then God says, well, you've never sinned. Here's all your stuff back twice as much. So he doesn't get the people back. He gets another couple of wives and loads of children and loads of livestock, so the carnage still sticks. <laughs> it's all too convenient the way it works out. It's absolutely a parable. Jesus told parables. Why is there not an amazing, massive parable in the middle of the Old Testament? One of the things Job says is, you know, what I feared most has happened to me. And I think that exposes the idea that what we believe will happen, happens. What we carry in our heart and speak actually comes to pass. And Jesus exposed this and talked about this. Out of your heart, the mouth speaks, the overflow. Uh, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you've already received it. So Job was believing he'd already received this stuff, really, in his fear. So we, we can see that even thousands of years before the Greek philosophers were around, way before uh, all of, a lot of stuff has been written, one of the earliest manuscripts ever written shows that people, us humans, have not really changed. We're still full of the same lame answers for each other. We still have the same weird views of the divine. And we still expose what's in us through hardship and stuff and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's an amazing parable. I actually love the book even more than when I thought it was a real story of someone that really happened. Actually, this is better. This is an amazing bit of scripture that we have got in our possession today to learn about human nature from and how we react and respond to the divine 
it's awesome. Maybe check it out sometime, but with a different set of eyes this time, not the ones you've been told. Oh, this really happened. Oh, can you imagine the fear that it puts in people? Well, if I'm not a good Christian, the devil will get me, but if I'm a good Christian, maybe the devil will sift me out and God will let him. Oh, my giddy aunt. We teach some awful stuff that brings anxiety and stress and depression to so many faithful believers. And if you're one of them, get set free this morning and know that God is good, that he loves you. He would never harm a hair on your head. But us humans, we come up with all sorts of crazy loony ideas. And uh, <laughs> it's just nuts. This is great. Hey, have a good read of uh, Job sometime and have a great Uberlicious day. This has been Uber Grace. It's been great chatting to you and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment or share. Nice one.